Okay, hi everybody. We're going to dive in and have some fun in creating a drawing uh, from scratch in an app on the iPad called Procreate. And I'm going to click on what's called the gallery. In the gallery, if for those of you who are following along on the iPad, we're going to keep it very simple. And I just want you to press the plus symbol in the top right and choose the first option, which is screen size. So we're going to keep it very simple. And I know that we have people here following on a piece of paper with um, pencil, and that's perfectly fine. Quick little thing that if you're working on Procreate, you may want to do is we're going to go to a little symbol in the upper right, which shows these layers. And we're just going to make that background color just a little bit off-white, so it's more interesting. Again, all I did was I went to the layers and tapped on background color. And I'm going to be working, looking at a still life that I've set up here. So let's have some fun with Procreate. We're going to explore a few different standard brushes in Procreate. There are many, many wonderful brushes. We're going to start off with just creating a foundation and working quick and rough. So depending on what media you're using, let's just look at the main shape and not worry too much about the details. So I'm just going to work very quickly with the, the main shapes and big rough brush strokes. And we can adjust color with the corner color here. And obviously, if you're working with pencil, you just quickly map out the main shapes. If you're working um, with Procreate and you want to adjust color, you can do so here. And one, one of the things that I want you to do is to just look at the, just look at the big picture and look at the shapes right up to the edge of your paper. So rather than um, just focus on the, uh, the central part of where your subjects are, I just want you to have some fun and map out the main shapes. So we'll create a foundation. And don't worry about it being quite abstract. If you half close your eyes, you can start to look at where just, you know, the main areas of light and dark are. So th this is just a foundational, quick, rough sketch. Um, no detail, quite abstract, quite quick and rough. And if you're using pencil, I'll just show you how you could do this with pencil. So I'm going to create a, um, a second layer here just so I can demonstrate this also with pencil. And I will go to the uh, sketching category. And pick a 6B pencil. So in pencil terms, try to make this so you can see this. It's just a quick, rough set of shapes. So this again is a foundation. I've made my still life a bit complex. Um, sometimes it might be easier if you have a simpler still life, but I'm just going to quickly outline this. So again, this is our foundation stage, not worrying about detail, mapping out main forms, main shapes. There we go. And let's just have a look. Um, I'm going to have a look at the questions. So David asks, what brushes am I using? So um, I'll just show you. I started with the uh, painting oil brush and then sketching 6B pencil. So I'll, um, I'm just gonna write this thing. Um, so let's now 
if you're in Procreate, let's create um, another layer. So you do that by clicking on the little plus symbol uh, in the top right of the layers. It's just useful to divide your work in process uh, into um, different layers. You have more flexibility. And now we're going to move into the second stage. So we've done a foundation. And now we're going to work with lights and darks and form. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually, if you want, this is a little uh, tip, you can drag your layer underneath the line work and you can start to work so that you preserve your line work if you want in Procreate. Um, but if you're just working in uh, pencil on paper, then the next stage is we're going to work with sort of uh, lights and darks. Now, if you're in Procreate, you can choose either to continue working, say, with the sketching 6B pencil. And I'll just demonstrate this. So I'm going to do the side of the boater where I see shadow. I use the side of my um, pencil. And I, I, I adjust the pressure. And I try to describe the light and the dark. And similarly, where I see the light catching. Obviously, if you're working with pencil on paper, then you're going to be working just with the shadow. So you're going to be focusing on describing the blocks of light and dark rather than the highlights but then that's perfectly fine. If you're working in Procreate or you have crayons, you can start bringing in a bit of color into this as well. And a little bit of the Pembroke pink as well. And what I'm focusing on here is really uh, the way that light is playing in terms of light and shadow at the moment, so I'm, although there, you know, there is color information because I'm adjusting color. The main thing I'm focusing on is lights and dark. So we're creating the illusion of form. So this is foundation, first stage, second stage form. And I find it useful to half close your eyes and just look where, you know, the abstract shapes are of light and dark. And it's, it's actually much easier to do when you sort of uh, squint your eyes like this. Um, and then you can start to really see uh, lights and darks and, and ignore more of the surface detail. It'd be interesting to see where people are at. If you want to just for a moment turn on your um, videos and just show us what you've done, it'll actually be quite interesting to see where we're all at at the moment. So I'll just have a look here to uh, watch, see what people have done. Ooh, hey, wow, these are fantastic. Nick, Nikki, Linda, thank you. And, and there's Emma. Hi, Emma. <laughs> I'm moving along and I see Richard. Well, I see the names, but of course I realize the people I'm seeing are not necessarily the same people. So I see Amy. Amy, do you want to hold up? Oh, that's lovely. Wow, it's so nice. That is so nice. These are brilliant. So that's brilliant, brilliant. So for those of you working in Procreate, I just want to uh, share one little thing that you'll really enjoy. Uh, I think it'll be very fun for you to see. And that is in Procreate, there's a wrench symbol next to the word gallery. And if you go to that wrench symbol and go to the fourth icon, it's called video. There's a time-lapse replay and it shows you the brush strokes. So let's move into the final phase. So we did foundation, we got the forms spelt out and now we're going to just go into a detail phase. I call it focus and we're going to choose some elements to sort of bring out in a bit more detail and add certain surface details. So what we'll do is uh, if if you could mute your videos, uh, 
that would be great. So those of you who kindly turned your videos on, if you just mute them for the moment. There we go. Thank you. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an inking brush and uh, let's have a look dry ink ah this would be very nice so I've because I know you can't see in the video um, I'm using the uh, brush category called inking and um, the uh, brush called dry ink but you're welcome to use anything and for those of you using pencil and paper you just keep, you know keep working uh, with the tools you're using I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to start just working into uh, some more detail in and start bringing out selective elements and I might do this through adding finer line work emphasizing maybe tonal contrast more where we have dark meeting light and also start to bring out a little bit of maybe surface detail so here's the design on the mug and if you want to just start experimenting with different brushes if you're in um, if you're in Procreate, that's actually a, a wonderful exercise to do, is to start experimenting with brushes. And you might find you need to adjust their size. So on the, on the right edge, in my case, maybe on the left, I have my controls with the size slider. So if I want to sharp a line, I bring it down. This is the ink bleed brush. It's got a softer feel to it. And basically, this this point of the drawing, we just allow it to develop. And if, if you're in Procreate and you really want to have some fun, there are amazing, I mean, unbelievable sort of ar array of textured brushes that you can experiment and play with. And that's what I encourage you to do, is to literally start going through all the different brushes and experimenting with them. I'm keeping things very simple here, so I'm just using sort of a few tools. And I'm also aware that some of you are following along uh, using literally pencil and paper, so uh, I want to also do something that's comparable to that. And I just have a look at the chat here. And Alyssa, you found the uh, dial into audio good. Um, and hopefully the, the phone then is actually giving a better uh, connection. And yes, I'll uh, share the recording. So we, we will share the recording with everyone and it'll have high resolution. So <laughs> don't worry, I'll make sure um, that you've got um, good. Ah, Kate, so you said perfect connection, thank you. So does that mean you can hear me uh, perfectly uh, via the phone connection? Yes, ah, excellent. And so, and I'm just gonna type in uh, the brush that I've been using. So this is uh, inking, the inking category and this particular one is ink bleed, but there's many, many good brushes. So, and let's um, change it up a bit here. There's artistic brushes. Oh, whoa, look at these. And there's some really uh, nice textured ones. Um, so if you want to start sort of give, getting some interesting texture, um, you can just experiment with them. Um, I'll pick 
pick a couple. Tara Lee, this one is got a sort of rough texture here that might be good for the background and it looks like it splatters paint. So you can start to get into some really nice organic effects um, with Procreate, throwing paint down literally and having fun with it. Um, so I'm going to use this to create the dark tone uh, and I'm adjusting pressure all the time um, that I'm working with this. And that brush was called Tara Lee. I'm going to go to something called Leatherwood. This is in the artistic um, category of Procreate brushes. And uh, like I say, you should just experiment. And with uh, digital, you can experiment adding paint underneath the line work and that can be actually quite fun and allow you to work with sort of shadows and things like that. And I'm just going to go back here to sketching with the 6B pencil to add a bit of detail to the bottles in the background. And let's uh, Let's just have a look at what you've all done. I'd be really interested to see where you've taken these. That's really cool. Really, really cool. And anybody else? Ah, Lid Linda. That's lovely, those flowers. Nikki, wow. That is really nice. I love the way that's developing. If you just take your smartphone and set it to camera, and as if you're going to photograph... Um, this QR code, you just put, point your camera at it and then there's a link appears and you tap on the link. You'll get to a web page I've created especially for this workshop. I'll show you, especially for those who are new to Procreate, some important things about finishing your artwork off. So the first thing I would recommend is that just so that you have a, uh, can track um, you know, your artwork that you make a layer and just sign and date it um, and that way you know when you did it just a good habit to so sign and date I also uh, definitely recommend that you go to that wrench or spanner go to video and just enjoy the replay and you can put your finger on the iPad screen and go back and forth and it actually controls the replay so you can go backwards or forwards. Isn't that cool? And you can export that as a little video file. You'll see lots of them on my websites. So, but it's really, really fun that you can control and see your process. So that's part of the magic of working digitally. And if you don't work digitally, that's also okay. You just don't have that option. And then um, the one thing I also would recommend is that you save your work if you're in Procreate. And you do that by going to that little spanner action menu and you click the third icon which says share and you go share JPEG. And you just say save image. And what it does is it puts it onto your camera roll, onto your um, photo app of your iPad and that's where you're going to find it. And the same applies to the videos, you can save that. So it's just a good habit. I'm trying to get you all into good habits with Procreate so that you end up being able to look at your work later and not lose it or anything. So anyway, let's do a fresh project and here's my idea. So I'm going to um, suggest if you take a moment, uh, we're going to do a self-portrait. Oh, I know you don't, you know, self-portraits can be a bit intimidating. But so what I'm doing is I've just got a mirror on a little easel. But if you want to just take a moment, I realize, you know, you may not have one at hand. See if you can find something uh, shiny uh, or a mirror, a small mirror, and prop it near you or next to you at your computer. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, see if we can uh, do a nice little uh, self-portrait. And... Uh, I'm going to move my little webcam here so you can you can see maybe a bit more detail of what I'm doing on my iPad. Here we go. 
And this will be fun. We'll get to see everybody's self-portrait at the end of this session. So what I'm going to do is go back to gallery. And for simplicity, I'm just going to start a new image using screen size. To just keep things really simple. And I'm going to just put a background color other than white. But if you're working in pencil and paper, you know, you just dive in and have some fun. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to put a sort of cool color there, like a greeny color, bluey greeny. And um, I'm going to keep it, uh, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to use a 6P pencil, first of all, with a with dark color and I'll just map out I do the same process which is foundation form and focus so the foundation is deciding on your composition am I gonna put the head in the middle or at the side I think that it's a bit more interesting if it's off-center so I'll probably you know just map it out roughly to one side maybe I can uh, put some uh, other abstract work in the background so just mapping out the shape really roughly composition like how big am I going to make the head in the paper am I going to include neck and shoulders or if, you know how much uh, is going to show so and in this case uh, am I going to include the edge of the mirror I mean you know these are actually all interesting decisions you have to make compositionally so is the mirror part of the drawing yeah, in my case it is. So what's behind the mirror? I have the edge of the table going like that. And I have an easel going like that. And I have a canvas going like that. So I'm actually looking, I'm trying to look at what is there rather than, you know, think, oh, well, it's a portrait, so I've got to include, you know, just, just the portrait. So immediately I'm looking at mapping out the whole of my canvas. And so this is uh, something to think about um, when you're doing, you know, uh, any drawing, whether it's a self-portrait or not, um, is just to really think about the whole composition and the and what you see there is abstract shapes, right? It's like very loose, just quick abstract shapes. These are in a layer in Procreate. Um, so I've got that. That's the foundation. So I've mapped it out very, very quick, very, very rough not worrying too much about it. Um, now, what I'm going to do is create a new layer and I'm just going to drag it down so I can work underneath my line work. Uh, that's, you know, just an option you always have in Procreate. And I'm going to look at something that's going to create some nice big rough marks because um, I'm just having a look here at some options. Uh, the abstracts, the elements, there's so many crazy brushes in Procreate. So if you're working with, uh, you know, the pencil and paper, this stage is you're going to map out the rough light dark blocks. Because I'm in Procreate, I'm, I may go a little wild and work with big crazy brushes because it's fun to and I want you all to have fun. Um, you know, I want this to be... Uh, a voyage of exploration and I'm going to get just I'm going to vary these up as I as I work just to have different different textures so I've gone from the I went there from the um, elements and the crystals, and now I've gone to industrial wasteland. Boy, oh boy, industrial wasteland sounds pretty serious, doesn't it? There we go. So a little bit of industrial wasteland. So basically, you can just have fun with this. At this stage can be quite exploratory. And then I got my crazy jacket, so get some crazy colors going there
and at this point I've not worried too much about details in the face so I'm really still keeping things um, very rough and abstract but I'm going to start working with more of the light dark forms and bringing that out and I'll actually go back to sketching 6B. 6B is like um, what I love to use traditionally actually when I'm just drawing either that or a solid graphite pencil so it's sort of like a bit of a go-to brush there and so what I'm going to do is now start looking at bringing in a little bit more of some light dark detail getting that form going the second stage of form and in the face that what that means is looking very roughly at the light at the light dark shapes not getting into too much detail this is a soft pastel it has a really nice texture actually the soft pastel so again I'm sort of looking at the light dark shapes I see a sort of bluishness from the window light there so I'm just bringing that out okay I can't wait to see what everyone's uh, created here the most important thing here of course is that I want you all to have fun and enjoy doing what you're doing that's a, a very critical element here it's it's this is something that you can really have a lot of joy with uh, wherever you are and I know we're you know uh, all sheltering in place so to speak having to spend a lot of time uh, at home and um, so this is a great thing to do to draw to paint to get out your you know whatever your media is that you have at hand whether it's digital or non-digital just to have fun with it and create something uh, through observation you can obviously use all these media for working from photos but you know why not just have fun working from what you see in front of you it's really uh, a joy and everybody can do that you don't have to be um, art trained you just have to observe and respond and you'll create something unique to you I'm going to have a quick look at the chat and then we're going to go into the final stage here in the last 10 minutes um, happy to experiment good I like that attitude happy to experiment because that's what it's about you can't do anything wrong you can't do anything bad it's just creativity everything that comes out is good and everything that happens on that canvas is interesting um, so uh, <laughs> so Jane couldn't hear anything but she enjoyed watching so oh, good I'm glad uh, thanks so much the connections not the best but I'll I'm, you know we'll have to hopefully get that sorted out for next time um, and Great, really love your jacket. Thank you, Claire. Um, okay, let's go into the final stage here. And I'm going to create a new layer in Procreate. And this is the focus stage. So, ooh, we better better focus in. And now we got to maybe work with a few features. So, again, I'm going to keep with the 6B pencil. Uh, let's go back. We were in soft pastel. Um, oh, you know what? I'll just make a change. I... I always love to challenge myself and that's something I encourage you to do so because I do use that 6B a lot it's like let's just do something different let's use the Narinda pencil I don't even know what it looks like so let's have a look um, and let's see what uh, what it gives us and do a little bit of uh, detail here maybe make it a bit bigger so we can a bit bolder And 
Do some cross hatching. I'm gonna I'm gonna vary it up actually. I'm gonna go to the oil pastel, make it smaller. So I'm gonna use maybe a lot smaller. Ah, this is a nice one, oil pastel. Ah, there we go. So and quick look at the eyes and the eyes is just uh, a matter of looking at the way that you see the reflection of the world in in your eyes it's always really interesting um, so with the iris and everything that's been reflected in it and you can zoom in by using your two fingers pinch in And just looking really at the major lights and darks still. So even though I'm working with structure, um, I'm still working with lights and darks. Now, as I do this, um, scale-wise, I'm realizing, okay, that chin's way too down. You know, so that's okay. I just accept that everything's everything is changeable on the entire surface of this uh, drawing so rather than get rid of things that's okay if, if something's uh, in needs changing you just change it and leave the uh, f leave the marks that were there before that's okay and we're almost there a few more minutes and you don't have to worry about finishing things so one one of the other things is that it's just fun f to enjoy the process and whatever happens happens and unfinished is actually very interesting because it leaves much more to the imagination so nothing wrong with a quick sketch and leaving it where you feel like well that's not finished like oh you know that needs a bit more work that's okay um, if it needs a bit more work that's a good sign then maybe that work can also be done by the imagination of the viewer so they take a look and say ah okay and they fill in the blanks I'm just gonna change so I went I'm in the sketching category I went to all pastel I'll go to artist crayon I'm just going through a bunch of different brushes here whoa this is a big big uh, brush here and let's just uh, take it down to minimum and maybe up a little bit okay there we go and I want to leave time to have a look at people's work so um, if you would like to send me any work now is probably a good time so that we can do a quick show and tell and um, I can't wait to see what everybody's done it's going to be so fun little Pembroke pink there okay And um, there is an eraser, and erasing is um, a wonderful drawing technique. So it's it's uh, perfectly okay to erase and use the erasing marks as drawing marks. So you'll see that eraser um, up in the uh, upper right of your Procreate. Uh, controls there you've got brush smudge and eraser and the eraser actually when you tap on it can be any tool so it's quite quite cool and I'm gonna because I want to see what you've all done I'm gonna call this a day it looks very serious oh maybe a, just a tiny smile that's a problem with drawing self-portraits is you tend to so look at yourself and it's like, oh my gosh, am I that serious? Actually, the same with drawing any portraits when people relax, uh, you know, and they don't have the smile on their face. Um, there's like, ooh, that looks so serious. And I'm just doing the date here. There we go. That, I'm going to call that a day for that one. <laughs> and let's have a look. I'll just show you my replay. 
Isn't that fun? So let's have a look at some other people's work. So, ah, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. It's so cool. That is so cool. Thank you, everybody. And uh, do, do send me your work. I'd love to see what you created or if you do things afterwards. I'd love to see that. That would be so cool. If you have any questions about Procreate, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you all so, so much.